I'm constantly digging into my collection, pulling out tracks that are older yeah. and sonically not up to what, what is happening now. I mean, it's been really dialed in to the point yeah. where, you know, some of the mix downs are very impressive. So yeah, I do go back and pull some tracks out from the early 90s that, you know, I'm, I'm bringing them in and trying to remaster them. There have been moments where, you know, I was playing a live set and I did something uh, with an acapella over, you know, maybe uh -huh. like an old techno track or something. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, oh, that was really cool, you yeah. know? And then I'll take it into my laptop and really dial it in and like yeah. add that acapella over that track and sort of re-edit the track and sort of make my new, you know, own version out of it. I know for me, like, I get the best results when finding a, the right sounds, mm. you know, like, th that's the biggest part of, you know, the, the end result of your mix down is the sound mm. selection, you know, that you choose yeah. while you're creating that yeah. track, you know. Some, sometimes, you know, you create a track it's and you select sound. certain sounds and they're just, you know, when you're trying to mix the track in the end, you're like, oh man, it's just not. And then you start changing your kick and, you know, mm. replacing the bass because mm. your original you know, sound that you selected is just not delivering that, that, that frequency yeah. that you want. The best way to have what we're doing here translate into what you're doing, you mm. know, live is, you know, to have the same hardware, mm. you know, with you in your live set that you have in the studio, or or one of these, you know, um, for your live setup. Uh, do you want to export the project that you yeah. have? Then we load it into maybe check it with my uh, equalizers uh, to to see how it will sound over there. Okay. I want to hear it on your setup now. Nice. Very nice. And it's not much, right? you know, but you can just, just yeah. feel it, you know, yeah. you do, you know. You're not hitting any distortion. It's sort of just... Exactly, yeah. You've got a clean master. Yeah, this is like my my secret uh, yeah. weapon in the war of, uh, of the loud DJs and everything. <laughs> I'm sure you got a lot of DJs coming to you, like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Plugins are separate on the four channels of Tractor. Right. They're all the same. So okay. you have them on each channel. Of yeah. Tractor. yeah. Okay. Essential things for me for a sound card are, are that, you know, number one, clarity, uh, processing power, and then, you know, it's still having headroom without, you know, distortion. You sort of want to make a statement as, as you're coming on, you know, yeah. to allow the people to know that you're, you're, yeah. you're starting your set. But um, after that, I, it's just sort of a feeling thing, like, you know, getting, you know, yeah. the vibe of what's happening in the room and feeling out the audience and seeing where, you know, you're going to go. Um, I don't like to overly prepare my sets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too, me too. Yeah. Me too.